Calling all black business owners, a research project is focusing on the impact of black owned businesses and it's looking for more participants. Joining me now is Eric Kearney, the president of the Greater Cincinnati of Northern Kentucky African American Chamber of Commerce and Brad Evans, who is the co-executive director of University of Cincinnati's Economic Center. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. So this partnership has been going on for some time now. What is what's the premises around it? Why why should we care about this? Well, we, we were fortunate enough to engage the University of Cincinnati Economic Center because one, we wanted to find out we're doing all this work. What is the impact that we're having? What are black businesses actually doing? Also, we thought it was important when policymakers make decisions about funding certain communities that they have the proper data. And so we found the biggest brains that we possibly could. And we happened upon Brad and right. his team. And so we, we engaged them uh, starting in 2021. We had a study in 2022. We took last year off. And then this year, we're back with the vengeance. We'll have three different studies. What have you guys discovered about black owners here? In, and we're studying the region of Northern Kentucky and Southern Ohio. We are, so we're studying uh, the greater Cincinnati region, which would include Northern Kentucky, Southwestern Ohio, and then we're extending up uh, into uh, Dayton as well. Okay, wonderful. Are we, are we seeing some positivity? You know, a lot of people, they don't maybe understand why it's important that we do support black owned businesses. Well, yeah, we're seeing a, a lot of, of growth. So the first year that, that we did this study, it was $1.6 billion. Uh, in 2022, it was $2.1 billion, 6,000 jobs. So wow. that's really great. Um, one other thing we should note is black-owned businesses, some of them tend to be small, mm -hmm. but we're seeing growth and we're seeing more of them. So the first year, I can't remember, we had about 600-something businesses that were surveyed. Then in 2022, we had 959. And then this year, we've got over 1,000. So it's growing. Wow. And that's really, that's positive for the community. It means more jobs, better neighborhoods, bigger tax base. So. Yeah, absolutely. And so you guys are, are putting a call out looking for more businesses to participate, right? Right. That's correct. So we have a very brief survey. If you uh, visit our website at economicsresearch.org, uh, it's a very brief, as I mentioned, question about five questions or so, um, and then we'll take it from there. Um, all information we collect will be uh, kept anonymous, uh, so we're not going to be disclosing uh, specific details about particular businesses, um, but we will be quantifying their impact uh, in, the, in the aggregate. So last question for you. Once you gather all this research, mm -hmm. what happens next? Well, we'll go through the data um, and we'll start to assign these businesses to, uh, to industries. And then from there, we will apply economic impact multipliers uh, to, to quantify their collective impact here in our region. And then we do a big announcement. We all do right. a big announcement so everybody knows. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I think this is important for people to know. And, and I hope the research continues to go well. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yes, you're welcome. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.